Hi everybody, welcome to Marciano Stadium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Big Game Miles Jackson. I almost said the big game. Every time I say that, it sounds like a sounds like a horror movie. But anyway, this <laughs> in our fifth year together, Colin Brockton High School Sports. We have a dandy as the visiting Barnstable Redhawks come in tonight, Miles, and the first time in 54 years a Columbo will not be coaching this uh, this team this year. Yeah, that's a definite uh, milestone right there. As long as I've been up here in the booth, it's always been a Columbo, um, Armin, and then his son, Peter. So it's going to be a little bit strange, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. I'm looking forward to the excitement of seeing a new head coach. And um, we can see what he does out here with these young men, teenagers that um, will look up to him big time. Absolutely. Just a moment, and, and here we go. They have uh, McKay's Boston's jersey. I really like that. They got McKay's Boston jersey out as they're coming through the tunnel. The young man we unfortunately lost this past spring. So anyway, a lot of um, test, test. So like I was saying before, I apologize. But they have Boston shirt on. To, uh, the cat the plays are carrying out. Unfortunately, lost him this past spring. Him and his brother in a bad car accident. So he was a senior, but he was a he was a menace on that defensive line. Yes, he was, and he'll be surely missed. I'm sure the kids might have um, dedicated this game or even the season to those two young men, especially yeah. the senior. Miles and I had the chance to check out the Marshfield scrimmage the other day, which was well last week actually, and um, you know typical situation: couple drop balls here, a couple drop balls there. Little couple timing problems, so we're hoping they work that out. Last year, the Bonstable Red, Red Hawks were three and eight. They finished it, and uh, we had the pleasure of going down there and calling that game in Bonstable. So this should be one heck of a game. I'm looking forward to see Coach Wiggins start his uh, coaching career here in Brockton. Yeah, congratulations to Coach Jermaine Wiggins on getting the head coaching job of this storied franchise right here in uh, Brockton High, City of Champions. And I'm sure he wants to carry on that championship feeling here in uh, Brockton, Massachusetts. standing and direct your attention to the Brockton High School color guard at midfield as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem.
And I believe that is the Copeland Cup that they're playing for today. Ladies and gentlemen, Copeland Toyota. Copeland Toyota, Chevy and Subaru will be the honorary captain and flip the coin in big field. Todd, thank you again. I tell you, Copeland Toyota's done a lot here in Brockton, supported many things here in Brockton, along with the high school. Maybe they'll give us a new car we can split down the middle. Sure. <laughs> Gee, a little, little breezy today this it evening, is. but it, it's wonderful temperature, great for football. Um, it is a little breezy, like I said. I'll tell you, I was more, I was worried about the way that how gray the clouds are looking coming yeah. over the ball field. Yeah, very intimidating today, but um, I'm looking on the weather thing and no, no rain. It's just a cloud, dark, cloudy evening. And the fans starting to uh, slowly file in here. Here at Marciano Stadium. And, and Miles and I will get the initial who's doing what in about two seconds. As soon as they uh, give the coin to one of them. Yeah, Brockton, um, they lost a lot of their key players last year. and They really know, we, did. Yeah, we sat and watched some of the uh, scrimmages. And uh, it might take a little while for them to get used to to really put it together. But um, they've got Cam on terror out there. I'm sure he's one of the captains. And um, he'll be a definite leader. Oh, I could hear that in practice when I was trying to take care of our lineups. It was... All right, guys, two more times. All right, let's finish this up. And you got kids respecting. That's what you need. I mean, you need a good discipline unit. And, you know, uh, he's definitely – we've done we've done four of his uh, basket, you know, mm -hmm. high school basketball games. He's just an all-around great kid. Nothing but the best wishes, Not you know, from all of us at Brockton yeah. Community Access TV. He represents Brockton well. And I think these guys on this roster, if they can follow their lead – this is going to be one heck of a season. Yeah, yes, indeed. He's a vocal leader, and he also um, backs it up on the field. He really does. Last year, Miles, he averaged 9.6 yards uh, rushing. He averaged 10.3 yards um, per uh, reception. I want to make sure I get that right, because like you said, he's the only one. All these other kids graduated. I mean, uh, Tur the Turco, Luke Turco, that's funny, so... Remember Mark Turco last year, we had the two picks in Barnstable last year. Yeah, and looking at Luke Turco in the scrimmages, he's definitely a football player. He's yep. got a knack for where the, where, to go where the football is, and that's why uh, Coach Wiggins, Wiggins has him out there. This is going to be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome everybody watching on the Brockton Access YouTube channel. And, of course, on back here in Taunton, I almost said Taunton, I'm in Brockton, on Channel 1070 and 1071. And, you know, the next opponent is most likely watching, going to be watching this uh, these feed, whoever Bonstable has, has next. Of course, Brockton has Franklin at home next. Miles and myself and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew will be here live again next Friday. Actually, Thursday. I apologize. That's going to be a Thursday uh kick off as they bring in the Franklin Panthers from the Hockamock. And Franklin has been a thorn in Brockton's side over the years. And I'm sure Coach Wiggins will make sure that when they do play Franklin that we're here for serious business. Alright, looks like the boxers are going to receive back to receive is Ahmad Wiggins, number seven. We'll give you the numbers as we go here. Number 23, Gerard Mighty. He's also back there. And that's a first. The offense, the special teams coach is making sure those guys are in the right spot. Usually, you know, we always see them just haul up from the sideline. Hey, first game of the season. Yep. A lot of new players. He wants to make sure their position where they're supposed to be.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn and your soft drinks ready. Stand by for Brockton High School football. And doing the kickoffs, I apologize, the kickoffs for the Bonstable Redhawks. That gentleman is, excuse me, I have to give you some their rest. That's a field position. So their first offensive position here in 2023 will be at their own 25. First and 10. I believe Jaden Campbell, he's a freshman. Uh, Campbell is 2027, yeah. They go on the center, they go with a lone setback. That looks like that's Campbell back there. And he has three receivers. So they give them all enough the right tackle, but nicely read by the Red Ox. He might have lost a yard. Yeah, that left side of the defensive line for the uh, Bonstable did a nice job of penetrating and getting to the running back before he even hit the line of scrimmage. So a loss of one, that'll make it. Well, they're going to call it right back to the original yeah. line of scrimmage. Uh, so that's the 19, that's the 24, excuse me, is the original line of scrimmage. They go shotgun. He has two slots and two receivers to each side. Jaden Campbell. Puts a man in motion. That's Montero. They give to Montero. Montero breaks one tackle, spins, move, still on his feet. And a saving shoe tackle. We'll give you that young man's name in a minute. He just saved a potential breakaway by Montero. Yeah, that was um, some great. Montero was caught in the backfield, and he somehow broke loose, as you see on the replay there, and was able to um, gain about five yards on the play. Tejado Francis on the stop for the Red Hawks. That'll bring up, looks like, Third and about five. He drops straight back. He looks. He's going to use his God-given speed. He cuts up, slides. And that was kind of high to yeah. the helmet. But I'm not going to say it was more of a shoulder pad than a helmet. Yeah, I think it was more of the shoulder pad. It was a high hit. You'll see it right here on the replay. Uh, if he would even hit that helmet, that definitely would have been a flag. But just a hard hit. It was a good thing he slid. It was a good thing. Right there to meet him with Jadis Roderick, number six. So that's good enough for the boxer first down. Under center again, Campbell. He gives it the back, but nothing there. He tries to spin off to go outside, but a host of Barnstable defenders are there. Yeah, the right side of that offensive line for the boxers, they're really going to have to step up and and uh, push these guys back. They've, they haven't gone to, I haven't seen them go to the left yet, but that right side of that offensive line is going to have to do a check. So second and 10 from their own 34. The debut of Jermaine Wiggins, head coach of Brockton High School football. Now in the gun. Four drop back set, looks, fires, incomplete. Yeah, ball was a little low. Good coverage by Barnstable. Shamir Williams was the intended receiver. Good coverage by the Red Hawks. Yeah, I think it was just a, a good defensive play. Oh, looked like it reached the um, receiver's hands. I don't know. That'll bring up third. And 10 from their own 34. Approaching the nine minute mark left in this first quarter. Looks right. He sees there, he's gonna use his God-given speed, tries to cut and slide uh. smartly. Looks like he's gonna slide short right around the 40, 41. Wow, he got nailed there. I thought maybe the, the uh, defender hit him up high. We'll see it right here on the replay. Good scramble and I don't know, he was he slid and the defender came in on him after he slid, but no flag. Nope. 
Kurt Campbell, number 55. And back to punt is Cameron Montero, back to receive. Give you that, gentlemen. It looks like that's Tergerto, France. Oh, yeah. No. There's a. That takes a Brockton bounce. All oh, that's still rolling. Great punt by Campbell all the way down. It looks like two. The bounce to Bull 10. Yeah, Montero really booted that ball. And like you said, took a nice bounce. Bounced about another 15, 20 yards. All right, so here's our first look at the Bonstable Redhawks. From their own 10. Quarterback is Aiden Kundal. They go hard count. Yeah, trying Brock, to get him to jump. Try to get an extra five yards. They go two slots, two receivers to each side of Kendall. They put a man in motion. They, oh, and they fake it on the drivers. Is Kendall, he's still on his feet. Nice read. Kendall this time, he has two backs to each side, a slot to his left, he puts a man away. That's Shakespeare, caught on a little screen. Braden Silva takes off for a ball, possibly four, we'll see where they mark the ball. Oh, they're gonna give him at least six on that one. Yeah, it was good play by Barnstable, quarterback was patient with the ball. They stay no huddle. Again, they spread it out. Brandon Silva now to the right of Kendall. They give it to the back in motion, go up to the far side. That's Shakespeare, but he's leveled before the First down marker. Oh boy, did he take a hit. Yeah, he did. Would you have to see where the uh, referee places the football? And it looks like they're going to give him just shy or see if they move the stakes. Oh, they're going to ask. For, oh, they're going to give him a first down. If I see the ref right. Yep. Yep, that another first down. So now first and 10, Miles at their own 31. Yep, early on here, Bonsable doing a good job on their first offensive possession, moving the ball down the field, still in their own territory. Looks like Shakespeare to the right of Kendall. He's rolling right, looking into the flats, complete to Francis. Francis spins. And takes off for about possibly nine. Barnstable's offense is looking pretty good right now. They're clicking, slowly moving the ball down the field. And controlling that clock. It'll be second and one at their own 40. They'll stay no huddle. This time it looks like that's Karen Ford to the left of Kendall. Out of the shotgun. Drops back, looks, fires, timing pad. He has a receiver and it's caught. Mm. Darren Thomas. Gee, that was a beautiful pass by the quarterback. Laid it right in there. He had the uh, defender maybe a step on him, but it had to be a great pass to get it in there. All the way down to the Brockton 30.
He rolls right, left this time, looks, fires. Has a receiver, wide open and caught. Gee, I don't know, there was a breakdown in coverage right there. There's no excuse for that man to be as wide open as he was. That was Shakespeare. Another first down, all the way down to the Brockton 15. Kendall again, now Mitch, you, they were talking about uh, mixing up the receivers, I mean the running backs. They could have anybody next to Kendall at any time out of the spread formation. Strop, drops straight back, looks, fires in the middle, and it is caught for the touchdown. Wow, blown coverage again by the boxes back there in, in the backfield. And that was just too easy, um, Dom. A 90-yard play. That was uh, Kyle Cogswell, number 12, with the, with the, with the TD. Yeah, they're marching 90 yards down the field, and most of the time when um, they ran a play, they got at least seven, eight, nine yards plus. Yep. Hagen Diaz will try the point half to try. The worst thing about that, they made that look kind of easy. They really. Yeah. That, but like you said, that was missed assignments. That was two missed assignments in a row. Wide open. Point after try, oh, that could get a foot. And good. We match up field. We match up field, 433 left, seven nothing Red Hawks. And they used the clock in marching down the field too, as you said. Still 433 left in this first quarter, but Brockton needs to respond to this. At least keep the foot, move the football down the field and uh, keep that offense of Barnstables off the field. Yeah, the Red Hawks ran that no huddle really well. Yeah. And talking to the coach prior to the game, he talked about, you know, you could have Cogswell next to uh, Kendall. You could have Shakespeare. Silva could be the back next to him out of that, out of that spread formation. He's, and the coach, they could be anywhere. And they proved it there. As the box is going to try to regroup here, and it's going to be interesting. I'd like to welcome everybody watching in the Greater Bonstable area here on YouTube. All 180 people, <laughs> and watching in Brockton on Channel 1070 and 1071. All right, back to receive for the Brockton boxers. Miles, it looks like they're going to go with uh, Jared Mighty again. Oh, they're going to switch it up this time. It's Mighty and uh, Casey Rhodes will back to receive for the boxers as Diaz gets ready to kick it off for the Red Hawks. So we have an upset in high school football last night as Hanover beat, beat um, excuse me, Duxbury. In Duxbury, 18 to 14. Wow. So that's an upset that in the Patriot League. Yeah. And then uh, Catholic Memorial, they handed Mansfield. Oh, an onside. Oh, great heads up play. Definitely a great heads up play right there. Bonstable throwing a little chicory in there. Ty Baker on his feet on that one. That puts Brockton in an excellent field position. Yeah. Right at midfield. Nice job by. Um, Ty Baker. Johnny on the spot right there. Absolutely. So they'll start at their own 50. And here comes the cap. Here comes the quarterback, Jaden Campbell. Looks like Walter Rodriguez is the back behind Campbell. They get two receivers to his right, one to his left. They give to Rodriguez. He sees the left side. Lost the ball, but he jumps back on it. Oh, boy. Well, at least it took a nice bounce right back to him. Yeah, Tejado Francis got an arm in there to have him lose control. And but 
believe it or not, he still got two yards out of it. Bring up second and eight. Second and eight from the Bonstable, 48. 358 left in this first quarter. Rodriguez getting he spins, he moves. Oh, he's still on his feet, turning. And finally tackled all the way down to the Bonspool, 33. Great balance by the senior. I didn't think he was going to make it up, but he <laughs> held, still um, stood strong there and kept his balance and got another 10, 15 yards at least. You know, when he trips, he looks like he's falling on his shoelaces. He doesn't know his own God-given strength. All right, so here we go. Brockton's second offensive possession here in this first half. Rodriguez again, the lone setback. They put Montero in motion. Campbell, he gives a Rodriguez. Trying to get to the outside, turning. And we do have a flag. Yeah, that might be holding. That might be a hold. That might be coming back. And this is one thing the boxers cannot do when they're in enemy territory. They got to keep pushing forward. They can't afford to, to go backwards when they're in the opponent's territory. Yep, they look like they're going to signal a hold. That's a 10-yarder. Yep. So that's a spot foul from, the, you know, National High School Federation rules, so the ball be brought back all the way to the 40. They need, they need to get to the 22 of Bonsville for a first down, this time out of the gun. Santos, Lorenzo Santos to the right. They put him in a motion, that's Montero. Drops back, looks, fires. And caught, I believe that was caught by the 12. Ribeiro, yeah, that was Ribeiro on that catch. Yeah, you got a, you got eight of those yards back. Yeah, nice job there by Ribeiro to hold on to that football because it was a coverage man all over him. Yeah, you notice the uh, you notice the bullet he threw to get that in between those two Bonstable defenders. Great job by Campbell. All right, second and twelve now from the thirty-four. They put Campbell in motion. Straight drop back. Looking, looking, firing in the corner and oh, tipped. Intended for Campbell. That they had two guys on Cam, um, Montero. Cam Montero, excuse me. They had they had Tajado Francis and Brendan Sylvia, yeah. almost like a spy. Yeah, possible when they can, they'll double covered cover on Montero because he's the uh, blue chip out there for receivers and, uh, and Campbell kind of kept his eye on him so defense could see that Campbell uh, Campbell wanted to throw it to Montero here we go third and 12 now early on this is a big third down for the uh, Brockton offense Oh, he lost the ball from him. Ball's loose. And that's recovered by Bonstable. Tough break right there. Looks like it was a problem between the center and the quarterback. Campbell never had possession of it. Tough break for the boxes with uh, 2.05 left in this first quarter. And yeah, they'll take over right at their own. Looks like they're going to mark it at their own. They're on 33. This is big for the Brockton defense right here. Yeah, Brockton defense needs to hold and force Bonstable to punt the football somewhere um, during this drive. This time Kendall will be under center. 
Lone setback. It's a toss on an end around. A little flea flicker downfield. They have somebody open. That's Cogswell, and it's, sh and it's short. Good coverage by the uh, the boxes, but even better. That was that wasn't a good pass. No, the pressure wasn't there. They had they had Francis and Shakespeare doing that double reverse. Yep. And then the flea flicker back to Kendall. But this time the Brockton secondary wasn't going to let that happen. So now at second and ten from their own 30, 33. Kendall now. Looks like that's Cogswell, uh, Francis to his right. Now we'll push him to his left. They put a man in motion. That's Shakespeare. They give. No, they, they, he keeps it up by himself. And he's running at the sideline and just all the way to midfield. Wow. Aiden Campbell takes off for another Bonstable first down. And right now, Bonstable's offensive line is uh, pushing the boxer's defensive line back in order to get these big yardage in these plays here. Brockton needs to um, strengthen up there in the trenches. Silver in the backfield with Kit Kendall. They put a man in motion, that's Francis. They give the Francis, using the speed, taking the corner. Brooks by another tackle and finally pushed all the way down to the Brockton 32. Yeah, nice play, number 29 for the boxes. Missed a chance to get him, Chance Miller. Missed the tackle. Oh boy, all the way down to their own 32. They got a minute 18. They go no huddle again. Looks like that's Silver and again the back in the backfield with Kendall. He has three receivers, as you can see, three receivers up top to his left, one down low. That's Thomas. He looks, drops back, complete to Cogswell. All the way down to the Brockton 19. Again. The man was unco left uncovered. And just like that, the clock is winding. This Barnstable football team is doing a good job of keeping the um, Rock and Home side quiet. Yes, they are. There's a lot of people there to see this game. This time, Kendall goes on the center. Almost like a counter to the other side, but tackled. Great read by the boxers. Yeah, good job right there by the uh, defensive line there. That was uh, Chevy Shakespeare on the carry. He made it back to the original line of scrimmage. They stay no huddle. And Silva, Brendan Sylvia, will stay in the back with Kendall. Out of the shotgun, two receivers to each side. He looks right, fires, complete. Still on his feet, moving, oh. spins. That was a beautiful move. Great move by Shakespeare. And another TD pass. Again, Brockton defensive backfield having a problem. You can see right here, man is pretty much open. Two broken tackles equals a score and this play started from that fumble at their own 33 that's right now Hayden Diaz I'm really impressed with this kid's foot spot ball down up and through we match up fell oh, no we, good oh no good he missed it he missed it just missed it Again, we match up field. 12 seconds left in the first quarter. 13 nothing Barnstable. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just get that. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, besides the box is not in sync right now. I'm, I'm in the way of my, my broadcast partner right now. Yeah, again, not making excuses for Brockton, but this is a whole new team. Um, the defense as well as the offense and they're trying to find themselves out there, but at the expense of um, 
possible. They're just taking advantage of this um, Brockton defense. All right, Diaz to kick off. Let's see if they mixed it up, Miles, on the for the return. Looks like they're going to stay with um, Jared Mighty. And um, I think that's Casey Rhodes. To, it is Casey Rhodes. Right around their own 9, 10-yard line, respectfully. There's a the kickoff deep. Looks like Rhodes will take it. No, it's going to... Oh, misplayed. Ball's loose. And then finally dove on by Mighty. Oh, baby. See, I don't know. There was some miscommunication there by the... Um, the two guys in the in uh, receiving the kick, you'll see it right here on the replay. Yeah, there's and Mighty. He comes in. Yeah, and comes in front of his um, uh, his um, teammate and miscues on the catch. All right, so here's the third offensive possession in this first half for Brockton. They're going to start right at their own 22. Campbell under center. Looks like he has Turco back there with him this time. I believe that's Turco. We'll give you the gentleman's number in a minute. They give the big guy a little miscue. Actually, that was uh, Lorenzo Santos. And a loss in the play. Yeah, Rob. Barstool's defensive line. They on the right side made some good penetration. We'll see it here on the replay in. Yeah, before he took one step and... Too many missing assignments on offensive on, line. Yeah. And that'll end the first half, the first quarter with your score. The Red Hawks of Barnstable 13, the Brockton Boxer 0 on the debut of Germ Jermaine Wiggins. Again, 54 years, we had nothing but Columbo's on that sideline. That's a long time. It is a long time. And uh, you know what? I had a chance to talk to Peter Colombo on the phone, and he is such a boxer. You know, he's uh, he's you know, Dom. All I all I want to do is see our guys do good, and he, he wears it on his sleeve all the time. Remember, he was the last quarterback at Holy Cross to beat Boston College. Wow. I don't know if people remember that. The only kind I remember that is when they were doing a tribute. I wrote it down to make sure. But that's something that's unbelievable. Yeah, that is. All right, there's a look at the Brockton sideline right now. Crowd stands are full here, Miles. Yeah, we got a good showing out here from Excellent. Brockton fans. Quite a few fans from Barnstable came and took that ride. All right, so here we go. This time they're going to leave Campbell by himself. He has two slots and two receivers to each side. Looks over the Bonstable defense. Looks like they got to cover three. Straight drop back for Campbell. Looks, fires. Oh, and dropped. Oh, he had him in stride, too. Yeah, that was uh, Williams. Yeah. Sh Shamir Williams. You just can't do that. You got to catch that ball. You do. You got to catch it. And that's one thing we did see in the Marshfield the, the Mansfield scrimmage. Yeah, a lot of drop balls. Brockton just has to get a rhythm going. Right now, the Bonstable kids are having more fun because they have their rhythm. That no huddle, they know it works, and they're taking advantage of it. Here we go on third. Third and 12. Second and 12, excuse me. Drop straight back, fires. It's intercepted. Intercepted by, should I get that gentleman's name right? He just, he beat Cameron Montero to the ball. Yeah, basically he just um, went, went right in front of him. He did. See right there and just knocked him over and took the ball. That was a great defensive play by Barnstable. That was number 18, Kyle Coffin. 6'4", 160, 165, sophomore. Now they go no-hudder. Here comes K 
Kendall again. Let's see who he has for a back. He'll stay with Silva. Brendan Silva. They go spread. Now go to his right. Three up top. One down low for receivers. Brockton needs a stop. He looks left. And right there in a sack. Oh, what a great play. Brockton shows some life on defense. Nice job there by the big guy. Defensive end, Nathan Jean Felipe. That marks, that marks them all the way back to their own 28. That was a big play there for the Brock, Brockton defense. They go no huddle again. Same thing, two slots to each side and two receivers with a back in them. But they put a man in motion, that's France. He's gonna roll right, look, get a hold, no call, and it's caught. Wow. Darren Thomas on the reception, but if you... Yeah, I saw some holding. He was but, trying but to get by the tackle, yeah. There. You know, looked like he could have been slung right there. I mean, that ain't holding. I don't know what <laughs> is. All right, here we go. Now, all the way, just like that, it's third and seven. Kendall goes long count. Now they're gonna switch it up because Brockton's not biting on the hard count. Again, two slots, two receivers to each side of Kendall. The lone back to his right is Brandon Silva. Straight drop back, he looks right. Fires, but hit. And it's incomplete. That was Darren Thomas on the, attended, on the attended, attempted reception, I yeah, should say. Nice job by the boxers to hold them there on that third down attempt. We'll see what the Barnstable Raiders will do. You know, right now, I would say they're going to go for it only because they've been pretty um, successful in their offensive scheme so far. Yeah. You're at, you're, you're at the Brockton 16. Here on fourth down. Same setup. Two slots, two receivers to each side of Kendall. The lone setback is Silva. They're trying to go hard count again. Brockton is not biting on the, on the hard count. They give to the big man. Oh, he got met by a truck. Oh, sure did. baby. It's a great tackle there. Number seven, I believe. Was that Ahmad? I think that. Yeah, that, number seven. Ahmad Wiggins. Yes. We heard, we mentioned his, team, mentioned his name quite a few times last year. All right, so here we go. Uh, here in the second quarter, this is Brockton's. Second, believe it or not, second offensive um, in the second quarter. I'm sorry. They're going to start at their own. 15. Again, Brockton needs to march down the field. Keep keep Barnstable's um, potent offense off the field. Give, um, give their defense a rest. Brockton's defense. The offense needs to give them a rest and march down this field and use some clock. We'd like to welcome everybody watching in the greater Bonstable area and all around the state, watching Jermaine Wiggins, Coach Wiggins debut here at Brockton High School. First and 10, they put a man in motion, that's Montero. Straight drop back. Thinking about going out, he has a man, doesn't know it, he fires and under throws. That was intended, uh, excuse me, for they're going to say he caught it. Jaden Ribeiro, has he caught that ball? Yes. Nice. Yep. That was a nice catch. Ribeiro lopes from our angle. Looks like he might have just tucked Scooped it under. It, yeah. yeah. But great catch. As they say in volleyball, that's called a dig. <laughs> <laughs> Little side joke between me and the postman the other day. All right, this time Campbell's on the center. Looks like he has Rodriguez in the backfield. He puts a man in motion. That's Montero. A toss to for Rodriguez. He's going to try to use his ball. He's taken down. Never got his, never got his get up and go, if you will. Dragging him down from behind. It was Kyle Coff, and that's the second time, a third time he mentioned his name defensively. Yeah, that was a nice job by Coff, uh, Kyle there where he showed his speed too because I thought maybe um, 
the uh, ball carrier would have a chance to get a little speed up and go around the side, but he did a nice job, the Barnesville defensive, the defender, and caught him right there. Timeout, timeout Brockton. 8.54 left in the second half, 13 to nothing Barnstable right now. Your thoughts, Miles? I know we got another. We're gonna, we played a quarter and a half. Yeah. Your thoughts, sir? Well, as far as Barnstable goes, they're clicking. Um, they're clicking on offense. They're clicking on defense because they've been keeping the boxes um, out of their own territory for the most part. And um, Brockton's offense just needs to get familiar with each other and, and try to make things happen because right now they're really not clicking. Couple reports on um, Miles and I can report as we're in this timeout. Hanover upsets, we, I, Miles and I believe it was an upset, upsets Duxbury 18 to 14. And Catholic Memorial, they hammer Mansfield 41 to 14. Wow. But uh, that could be the changing of the tide in that Patriot League with all of a sudden the Hanover Hawks are starting to knock. I know it's only week one, I mean, but that's pretty impressive when you beat a powerhouse in Division Two like Stocksbury. Yeah, it is. All right, so we're going to call a huddle. Let's see if Brockton can finally get something rolling. This time, looks like Turco is in the backfield. He is. On the center course, that's Campbell. He has two receivers to his right, one on top to his left. Spins Turco trying to get something going. They're just crushing that the trenches. Right now, the Barnstable defensive line, they're just... Yeah. Brockton can't even get through. They're not, they're not even making the line of scrimmage, it looks like. You know, let's say fourth and two. On that third and two, they, they, I thought maybe they should have did a little quarterback sneak. You're only talking a couple of yards. Right. Because they haven't had a lot of success handing the ball off to their running backs. Cameron Montero back to punt for the boxes. Chevy Shakespeare, number three. He's back all the way down to his own 39. How much on the punt? It'll take a Brock. To, oh, good job being at the right place at the right time. They're going to say, Boy. did that hit somebody? You only can take off if it hit a, a Bonstable player. Now nope, they're going to kill it at the 48. Let's see what happened here. Oh, they it think it might have hit. That might have hit a uh, number uh, 59. That might have hit a, a Bonstable Red Hawk. And that was Luke Raposa. Wow. That'll be a shame if the referees don't call that Brockton's ball because you, it was definitely went off the uh, Barnstable player. It did. Yeah. It did hit. It did hit Raposa. Yeah. Hats off to the referee crew for discussing that. All, um, all over and making sure they got the call right. Yeah, you're supposed to have those conferences. Brockton gets a big break after a punt. Yeah, that is a big break for the boxes. So they're going to explain it to Coach Wiggins. Just so he understands what happened. I mean, it was right in front of him. The guy knows the game. I mean, the ball hit uh, number 59. Raposa of Barnstable and Brockton picked it up and ran with it. Back to pass. Looking. They switch quarterbacks. Try to make a move. Great job on his feet. And still moving. There's some life there taking off. Yeah, nice job by Campbell. Couldn't find anybody open, so he just ran out of that pocket and got some good yardage on the play. Barnstable's going to learn you cannot give a guy that talented all that open land. 
Nice job by the uh, offensive line for Brock yes. there. They gave him enough time to look down the field. He didn't see anything, and again, he just took off, ran out of the pocket. Although now the ball spotted at the at the shooting at the Barnstable 34. They give to the big man, trying to take the corner, cutting, driving forward. That's Walter Rodriguez again for the box as he picks up two. Would also like to welcome Miles, everybody watching back home in Brockton on channel, excuse me, 1070, 1071. Of course, off the Brockton YouTube channel. Seven sixteen left and running in this first half. Brockton showing some life off offensively here. Out of the gun, pro set. That's Campbell. He has two slots to his left and two receivers to his left. Left and turn left and right. Excuse me. Straight drop back. Thinking about now he's going to thinking about putting on the jet. He does and slides smartly. That's really close. Oh ah, yeah. Going to have a late hit, I think. Yeah, late hit. He slid in the. Defender came in there and hit him on the side. That'll be a big break for the boxes here. Put that ball a little bit closer to the end zone. He committed to the slide. He finished the slide, and then he was hit. Personal foul. It's a 15-yard penalty. Yarder, yes. Brockton really needs to capitalize on this. They need to get six points. Yes. Somehow. Too much talent on this club, but hats off to the Bonstable defense in oh. this first half. If the bosses can push this in, they earned it because Absolutely. the defense uh, really has stood up in this first half so far for Bonstable. They're going to mark the ball right at the Bonstable, looks like the 13 14 yard line. This time it looks like Santos is a deep back behind Campbell. Straight drop back. Looking right. Looking right. He's looking. He floats it in. Oh, and caught by Campbell. He ripped it. Montero, Montero ripped it out of his hands. Oh, what a great play. That was a great senior play right there. As uh, Montero stayed focused. He and really like you did. Said, just took it out of the defender. That was an interception. And the defense and uh, Campbell just took it right out of his hands. Great play by the senior. Wow. And Karen Ford probably wants that ball back, but that was a what a great effort by the senior. Now second and about one. Gutsy pass by the by uh, Campbell throwing it in there in traffic, but he was throwing it to his main man, Montero. They go back to the they spread out pro set. This time he has. Lorenzo Santos to his right, Campbell out of the gun, two receivers to his right, one to his left, he fires, timing Patton in the corner, broken up. I'm going to say that was a clean play, intended for Ribeiro, Jaden Lopes Ribeiro, and that will bring up third, I believe, yep, third down, in about a yard. It's good to see uh, Campbell get that confidence where he knows he's starting to use his legs. Yeah. And Coach Wiggins wants to make sure they understand what they want to get done. This time they got Flaherty, Christian Flaherty. They go with a different... They go with a different look. Santos under center. Campbell. They give to Santos. Moving, driving forward, just trying to get that first down. Let's see if they give it to him. It's going to be close. Yeah, it's going to be real close. I'm going to say they stopped him on the five. I think he needs to get to the four. Wow. Big decisions here by uh, Coach Wiggins. Well, you know what? You're down two touchdowns. You go for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
4.40 left in this first half. This time they go eye formation. Actually, off uh, offset eye. The fullback, that's Flaherty. And smartly, Wiggins, Coach Wiggins calls a timeout with third, fourth and one. And I like what I've been seeing the last seven minutes of this half, of this quarter. Yes, yeah, definitely been uplifting to see the offense move the football down with that big break on the miscue of um, the punt return of um, Barnstable where it hit the bat, the football hit the back of the player because it was a short punt. Yep. So fortunately for Brockton, they, they, re, re, they cover the football and now Coach Wiggins has to make a big decision on what play to call. Well, you only got, if you think about it, right, you only got 14 yards to mess with, which you already know. Um, can you go spread? Of course you can. You can go pro set, you know, go that, do that spread look out of the gun and uh, try everyone to go, try to get everyone to go in one direction and you, t and you have uh, Campbell use his God-given talent and take off for a first down. Well, I tell you, this is a, a time for the offensive line to do a gut check. They yep. need to push that, push their defenders back just enough so at least Brockton's running back can get to the line of scrimmage and do his thing yep. if, if it's a running play. Going to be interesting to see what they do. Here on fourth and one. Brockton trying to cut in this lead. This time they go with Turco. Flaherty is the fullback. Turco is the full is the is the tailback. Out of the power eye. Tight formation. And they're gonna keep. And they're gonna, oh, he has it, and Moore, he's still driving, still moving. He is in for the touchdown. Wow. The first touchdown comes at the 418 mark here in the second quarter. And, and just like I said, I mean, it was such, it was like a half a yard. And why not quarterback sneak it in, or at least get the first down, but give credit to that offensive line. They just pushed and they pushed did. and pushed. And Campbell kept his feet going and going and going, and they get rewarded with six points. Great job by the box of deep uh, offense there. Mark Christopher Magriella to hold. And I want to make sure, and, and that's uh, De Silva, Daniel De Silva, to try the point after attempt, trying to cut into this Bonstable Red Hawks lead. Ball down, kick, it's up, and it's good. He got it through two defenders. Wow, he drilled that because, like you said, they would defend. I thought it was going to be blocked. I did, too. He literally got it through two guys, two two defenders' hands. Wow, that's he, impressive. He kicked the bullet he right did. to the out, up, uh, uprights. You know what? I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right, boxers, get on the board. First touchdown of the air, 418 here in the second quarter. They've cut the lead to six. And that, that's a big uplifting uh, momentum builder for this young Brockton team that they finally got on the board. Still four minutes and 18 seconds left in this football game. Anything can happen. The defense could cause a turnover. Who knows? Right. But they, if they don't cause a turnover, they need to hold and possibly give um, the boxers the ball back before this half ends. Absolutely. Back to receive for Barnstable right around their own, his own seven yard on that looks like number two, Tajardo Francis. He also has Karen Ford. And it looks like Chevy Shakespeare right around their own 25. And De Silva getting ready to kick off. I believe that's De Silva. Should I get that gentleman's name right? That could be Philip. No, that's Dos Santos. Dos Santos. Here's his kick. High, booming, end over kick. He'll take it out of zone 14. Trying to cut the left side. He thinks he sees a seam. He cuts over. Nice open field tackle after being blocked yeah. by Gerard Mighty. Yeah, that was a nice job fighting off the tackle by Mighty. 
and uh, making the play. Bonstable's fourth offensive possession here in this first half. Kendall, uh, let's see what he has next to him. He's probably going to have Silva. He'll have two slots to each side, two receivers to each side out of the spread. Hard count eight working for the box on uh, working on the boxes. Yeah, they've been doing it all in this first half, trying to make them boxes jump off sides. They put a man in motion. That's Francis. They give the Francis trying to cut to the outside. Now he cuts in, drives forward, but met by a bunch of Brockton boxes, but not before he picks up possibly seven. Yeah, that that was a good run. Yeah, he picked up seven or eight yards on that play. They're going to call that eight. They're actually going to call that nine, excuse me. Second and one now from the 43. Same formation for the Red Hawks. They fake on the R RPO. They look down for a little toss and almost intercepted. Nice try by, My I think that's Mighty. Get you that gentleman's number in a minute. Yep, that was, yep, that was Mighty. Jared Mighty. But that, that would have been a big play right there for the boxes. With uh, three minutes and 31 seconds left, that would have been a big play. So they change up the package, the defensive package, is, and Masaya Pina comes out. I didn't get, who, I didn't see who came in. They go tight formation. They might try to go right up the middle. Box is watching. Little end around, trying to go to the fight side. He cuts over off tackle, and he has enough for a Bonstable first down. That was Ger um, Tajardo Francis again on the carry. This time on the carry, excuse me, for the bra excuse me for Bonstable. Yeah, Francis. Francis is a tough, tough runner. 6'1", 175 pounds. Um, senior. Sure. First and 10 from their own 47 now. 3-10 left in this first half. Kendall goes hard count. Same formation. Two slots to each side, two receivers. Now they change it up. It looks like that's De Silva in the backfield to his right. Straight drop back, looks, sees a pressure, blows it upstairs and caught. And he's in for the touchdown. A little wow. floater, the Chevy Shakespeare beats his defender. Wow. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Well, that, that was a beautiful pass, beautiful pass route. Brockton so far is having problems in the defensive backfield covering these receivers, and that one hurt. It did. Let's see if Brockton can answer back. Uh, see if they go for one or do they go for two. Yep, they're going to go for two. The Silver is in the backfield with Kendall. They got three receivers tight to his right. One down to the left. Timeout. They're going to call timeout, timeout, Bonstable. 246 left. Yeah, the boxes, as far as defense goes, they have to do some. Um Figuring out on how to get them that defensive line into the backfield because the quarterback just had way too much time. Way too much time, yeah. In the secondary half, they gotta they get it when they're playing zone, they really need to respect the speed of those bonstable receivers. Yeah. They need to communicate also with each other. Yep. All right, so here we go as you come out of this timeout. Again, the Red Hawks going for two. It's 
looks like to Silva and Kendall straight drop back Rose was right here comes a pressure by the boxer just missed him and he's in for the two-point conversion and they're up by two touchdowns gee that was uh, another senior the quarterback nice job there just before he had about three or four yards he felt the pressure in front of him and faked the throw faked the throw and went on in I'm just showing my age. I had a flashback of uh, <laughs> um, Roger Starback. Oh, was, did you? Oh, uh, Roger the Dodger for the Dallas Cowboys. I believe Hall of Famer. All right, back to receive for Brockton. They're going to go with uh, Casey Rhodes, number 34. And I think they're going to go with Luke Turco. I believe that if it is Luke Turco. Oh, they're going to push everybody back. Diaz to kick off for the Red Hawks. Roger Starback. That was funny. Remember Roger? I do. Changed the game. He sure did. Deep end over kick taken by Turco at his own seven. Trying to get some speed. He's going to try to take the corner. Lost an edge. Fell down. Excuse me. I'm sorry. That was Jared Mighty. I thought that was Turco for a minute. Nice return by Mighty. Yeah. And Brockton will have two minutes and 39 seconds left in this first half. Brockton must protect the football also. They cannot afford to have a turnover happen while they're trying to uh, run this clock out and head downfield and try to get some points on the board. they got to protect the football. They're already down, they're down two touchdowns. Official spot, I believe they're going to call it the 18. I mean the 23, sorry. All right, so here you go. The boxers just got to start jumping like they did that last drive. Lone back is Rodriguez. Campbell on the center. Two receivers up top to his left, one down low. They give to Rodriguez. They have an opening, ran into the, ran into the tackle. Yikes. Probably got about three yards on the play. But he's still got three. Yep. Third and about seven. All right, so here we go on third and seven. This time they got out of the gun. Campbell, high snap, looking, looking. And he just gets out of bounds. Clock is still running. Gee, I think he should have, Campbell should have threw that ball out of bounds. Stopped the clock. Some, we have a hurt boxer? No, uh, Campbell's up, right? Yeah, Campbell's up. Yeah, it's, when he went down, a um, basketball player came on top of him, kind of twisted him a little bit like a pretzel. So before we start the second half, Miles and I will in the... We'll have scores from around the league as they come into us, and we'll be more than happy to share them with you. Last, I believe this might be their last time out, too. There's Coach Wiggins, there's a coach, a coach, there's a picture of Coach Wiggins right there. As he tries to regroup, too much. there's a lot of talent on the team. They just got to just get it together. So yeah, it, that, like I, again, I said, it's basically a, a new team out there in the key yeah. positions, except for Montero. So might take a little while before they really get going. 
as a team. Absolutely. Rodriguez is to the left out of the gun. Two slots to each side, two receivers to each side for Campbell. Straight drop back, looking, thinking about firing, he does, and that is underthrown intended for Ribeiro. I think one thing the box is that they, they need to get the ball into Montero's hands. Yeah. They need to start looking, looking at him, trying to um, get the ball in his hands so he can make things happen. So three and out for the boxes. They'll punt here with uh, 135 left in this first half. And that's a lot of time for this Barnstable team. The way they've been playing in this first half. Nice kick by Cameron Montero. He fielded right at, he lost the ball! Ball's loose, let's see who has that ball's on the ground. That could be another Brockton turnover. See what they call. Another conference. That ball was on the ground loose. I'm gonna say it's Barnstable ball. He must have got under it right there on the ground. You know what? I'm also forgetting NSF rules. He probably hit his knee. He yeah. made a catch. He's yeah. down. Ball's dead. Yep. Here is the sixth offensive possession for Bonstable in this first half. Kendall out of the gun, they spread it out again for Brockton. They put a man in motion to the far side, rolling as Kendall looking, another lob pass, and he was trying to hit Andrew Lovell. Yeah, just out of his fingertips, luckily. And that was one of those set plays. He fakes on the fakes on the play action. That kid just does a streak right up the sideline. That's how they've been beating Boston. I mean, beating Boston, beating Brockton. Excuse me. They're, they're getting it behind these Brockton, this Brockton secondary. Here on second and ten, with a minute twenty-one left in the first half. Kendall again in the backfield. That's Silva to his right. Silva moves to the left side. Back is Kendall. Coming on a blitz. He has a wide open. Incomplete. Intended for Tajado, excuse me, Tajado France. Yeah, he, he was open. There was, he had the um, defender beat by a couple of steps. Luckily, it was overthrown. So that will bring up uh, third and ten. This could be, if they hold him, this is going to be a good stance for Brockton. Yeah. Same starters out there for you know both teams. Brockton's showing some life here on defense here late in this first half. Silver again to the right of Kendall. Puts her, puts her man in motion, that's Francis. He's gonna roll right, gonna fire, and that's complete. Let's see where they mark him. He might have enough for a Bonstable first down. Yeah, I believe he does. Mark that all the way to the Brockton 44. Kendall, he has a wing to his right, to his left, excuse me, that's Silva. Throws on the drop back to Francis, lost the ball. Picks it up, that's gonna be incomplete, it's gotta be incomplete. Yeah. So it'll bring up second and 10 again at the Brockton 44. 47 seconds left. Again, we'd like to welcome everybody watching in the greater Barnstable area on our Brockton Access YouTube channel and everyone around the state watching as Coach Wiggins' debut at his 
The head football coach here at Brockton High School. Kendall drops back. Looks, he's gonna try to float on another one. There's a receiver and that's, is that caught? He did, he caught Ooh, it all the way down. Wow. At the Brockton five. What a catch. What an effort, let's take another look at that. Wow. They're gonna stay no huddle. This guy's got an arm for Bonstable. He must have got one foot in. Brockton has one more timeout. And they'll take it. Well, that Barnstable team is taking advantage of um, the young secondary to the box. Yeah, the young secondary. They're just picking them, picking them apart. And that that play right there, it was only 40, 44 seconds left. Took four seconds to uh, forty-seven seconds left. Took seven seconds to to uh, make that play clock stops and they're deep, deep into boxer territory. Um, one to score another six. And really dampen the ha uh, halftime ch uh, chat of these um, Brockton boxers. When they go into the locker room, they'll really be down. Yeah, you're right about Kendall. He has one hell of an arm on him. I he does. He really does. All right, so you're gonna go tight. They're gonna tight the formation. This almost looks like a double wing. Yep, it is. Oh, now they break out of it and they spread it out. Kendall, he has Silva to his right. Out of the gun. Francis looking for a play. The other, the other slot. And what's the commotion about? Yeah, you can see the head referee right down there in the thick of things. Well, we know he made the catch. He's at the five yard line. Ball hasn't been snapped. Oh, offsides, Brockton. Wow. Neutral neutral zone infraction. Yeah, they were lined up. Yeah, they don't let to call that a free play anymore. They get they, they stop it right there and enforce the penalty. They go spread again. Kendall looking left. He might try to run it. He is, and he's in for a touch. In for the touchdown. Yeah, that was designed quarterback draw. Um, yes, Kendall sir. Kendall waits for everybody to come charging in, and he just runs right up the middle, untouched. Boy, it, they, made, they made it look easy, Dom. They really did. And 35 seconds left. And here we go. Diaz for the point after. Snap ball down. Kick is up. And this kid has a leg. He kicks it through. 28 to 7. Wow. With 35 seconds left in the first half. That has to be deflating for this young Brockton team. It really does, and again, it doesn't get easier because the, the Franklin Panthers out of the Hockham up, they're gonna roll Oof. in Thursday night. Yeah, they're a strong team. So it's gonna be interesting. Casey Rhodes and Jared Mighty back to receive for Brockton. Diaz to kick off. Everything is working in rhythm for the Red Hawks in this first half. Yep, defense as well as offense. All 
Oh, they're going to go squib it. Someone's going to take that ball, and they do smartly. Right around their own 33. Puts Brockland pretty good field, uh, pretty good territory. Jumping on the ball, that was Morello, De Maria, Mer uh, DeMello, excuse me, Morello, excuse me. The official spot is going to be their own 33. Brockton's sixth offensive possession in this first half. Their first and only touchdown in this first half came at the 418 mark. He's going to go right out of the gun. He's going to have a back to his right. His right, that's uh, Walter Rodriguez. Campbell. Two slots and receiver to his right. Receiver to his left. Drop back. Looking. Going to roll. Maybe he'll use his speed. Looking. And knocked away at the last minute. Excellent job. And coverage by number 18. Jason, excuse me, Kyle Coffin again. Bring up second and ten. All right, here we go again from the 33. Now 26 seconds, as you can see, left in the game. In the first half, excuse me. Straight drop back. Rolling. He's in trouble. And he smartly takes a seat. And then he gets hit the last, late, the last minute. Defenders probably going to say, I accidentally slipped. Big loss for the Brockton Boxers all the way back down to their own 25. Campbell, he's only a freshman. He'll learn. But in a case like that, just throw it out of bounds. You don't want to take a loss that big. That's like a sack. Yep. Oh. And they're gonna let the they're gonna let the clock run out. Okay, I didn't realize the clock was running out. All right, at the half. Before we step away, Miles, um, your your thoughts. Well, my thoughts is Barnstable is winning in the trenches on both sides of the football. Their offensive line is pushing Brockton back, and also when they pass, the quarterback has more than enough time to find a receiver. Um, as far as Brockton goes, they don't have a running game at the moment because Bonstable's front defensive line is manhandling them in, in the front line there. So the offensive line really needs to kind of step up and really put some more effort into uh, making some holes for those running backs. And, and when they pass, give the quarterback a little bit more time to uh, find his receivers. All right, again, at the half, your score, Red Hawks 28, Boxers 7. Miles and myself will be back with the second half right after this. Brockton High School Marching Band proudly presents their 2023 show, Pop Diva Playlist. Celebrating the music of some of the biggest icons in popular music. As always, they are honored to represent our community and perform for the City of Champions. Now, please welcome, under the field direction of drum major Nina Gambino, Glenn Street and Alessandro Suero 
the Brockton High School Marching Band.
Hi everybody, welcome back to Marciano Stadium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by the game, Miles Jackson, as we get ready to start the second half. But just before we do that, we'll tell you some of the scores you got from Thursday night. Uh, Med Medford beat Brookline 19 to seven. Catholic Memorial handled it to, uh, excuse me, Mansfield 41 to 14. Franklin beats up on Bay. They did uh, 31 to, uh, excuse me, 36 to 14 over Wachusett. And the upset of Thursday night football in high school football was Hanover upsetting Duxbury 28 to 18. All right, so hopefully they uh, had some inspirational speaking and did something to turn this around, come out in the second half as we're in the, the coaching debut of Coach Jermaine Wiggins. We had 54 years of Brockton, Colombo coaching here at Brockton High School. Now the changing of the guard, if you will, and here we are currently down 28 to 7 miles. Yeah, this is um, Coach Wiggins has... Um Inherited a young team may take a little time to uh, mold them, but uh, and, and if anybody can do, it, I'm sure it's Coach Wiggins. But it, it's, it is a little painful to see um, Brockton struggle in that first half. But when you got Barnstable's got a senior quarterback, Brockton has a freshman quarterback, so you see the imbalance right there. New players on Brockton's offense and defense. So it might take some time for them to get familiar with each other in game situations. But hopefully they can come in the second half and make it a little bit respectable. Yeah, this first offensive possession is going to tell me how, how their adjustments went out in the, you know, in the locker room right away. I mean, that Kendall kid, he can throw the ball, and he has a lot of weapons out there, and he used every one of them. He sure did. He threw um, short passes, middle range passes, and he threw the bomb all on target. And he ran when he uh, did the R RPOs. He ran it when he when he saw the seam open up. Yep, looking like Roger Starback. <laughs> looking like Roger Starback. <laughs> Back to receive as we start the second half is Tajardo Francis, number two. He's right around his own 10-yard line. And De Silva getting ready to kick off for the Brockton boxes is... Brockton Community Access TV gives you game one here in the 2023 season of Brockton High School football. High end over kick. He'll take it, take the bounce. So is he going to let it roll? He is going to let it roll. Smart play right Smart there. Smart play by a senior, by a senior player. Exactly. 6'1", 175 pounds. And uh, we will get the official mark because I honestly forgot exactly where the mark's supposed to be. Looks like it's going to be the thirty, right around the thirty-five. Yeah, I guess if it's kicked off and it goes out of bounds, they they automatically put it at the thirty-five. Yep. So here's Bonstable's first possession here in this second half. And they'll start it again at their own thirty-five yard line. Looks like the Silva, he'll stay. Brandon the Silva, he'll stay next to Kundo. He'll have two slots and two receivers to each side again out of the gun. Straight drop back. Brockton trying to add the pressure. He's going to try to lead him downfield. He has a receiver. And that's caught, and they're going to say he was out of bounds. That was intended for Darian Thomas, number 11. Yeah, good call by the referee. He went up, nice catch, but when he came down, both feet were out of bounds. Again, though, those receivers getting behind getting behind the Brockton defenders. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a problem there. All right, here we go on second and 10 from their own 35. Just underway here in the second half. Straight drop back by Kendall. He looks, fires, little drops it across, and he gets by two, three Brockton defenders, but not before he's tackled down at his own 42. Wow, that was a great play. 
by number two. He was hit hard. I thought he was going down, but he kept his balance, shrugged off the tackle, and kept going upfield. So Jardo Francis again. I think number 70 comes out for Brockton, like his ankles bothered. And now Jackson on the stop for the boxers. Same formation with this, no, not same formation. This time he'll have three receivers to his right, one down low to his left. Brockton just trying to add some pressure here. Straight drop back, looking, hit, complete. On a comeback route, try breaks one tackle, still on his feet, and then finally tackled by a host of Brockton defenders. That's what you have to do because these guys are so God-given talented. They take off, and there's an example by Darian Thomas. Yeah, that was a strong run by Thomas. Didn't want to go down. So that play results in a, the first first down here in the second half is by Bonstable. And they're at the Brockton 47. Yeah, I think they were going to, I believe, the. I'm not sure what call that is, but it was on the defense. I'm not sure if the ref, if the uh, one of the coaches was out there for quite a while and the referee was looking at him. All right, so here we go. First and ten again from the Brockton 46, just underway in the second half. They put a man in motion. They give to the man in motion. No, Kendall keeps it. And Smartly gets out of bound at the Brockton 40 before he picks up seven. Yeah, nice fake handoff there. Fool the defense a little bit. Everybody, up, at least I thought, it was going to go to that kid in motion. A nice, nice read. I can tell you right now, Cape and Island Conference, you better wake up because Bonstable Redhawks are for real. They are. Kendall again, Silver to his right. Looks right, throws out, complete. Swading out there in the flat. And a nice tackle. But not before Eric Lovell. Picked up another Bonstable first down. Yeah, he was leveled, but he got the first down and more. We'll mark that to the Brockton 26. On a keep by Kendall. He picks up nine on that keeper. Bonstable's just moving down feel willfully not not a lot of pushback by the boxes at this moment oh I think um, I think Kendall might be bleeding they just called the timeout yeah he's got to come out of the game Yep, get his thoughts together. So I mean, now in for quarterback is Kyle Coffin. I mean, it's 28-7. Uh, do you, do you want to put him back in? I mean, it's still early in the third quarter, but they've got a comfortable lead. I don't know why he would risk further injury. But we got a new quarterback. Yep, K Kendall uh, Kaufman. Oh, and a miscue. Okay. And he goes down. Nice read by the boxers. They were in there fast. Yeah. Well, I'm sure um, Kendall will get back in there. And in comes Kendall. 
Aiden Kendall, the leader of this offense. And Coffin will come out. They put him on a in motion. That's Francis rolling is Kendall throwing. Complete. It'll be first and goal for the Red Hawks at the Brockton seven. 80% of Barnstable's uh, pass catching by the receivers. They've been open. Yep. That's not a good sign. Trying to go hard count. Again, that won't go. Now De Silva to the right of Kendall. They go spread. Two slots to each side, two receivers. He looks right, rolling right, stops, throws, and knocked. Great job by the cornerback. Decent, decent pressure by the um, lineman there. Put a little pressure on the quarterback. He had to throw it. Bring up third and goal. This would be a big stop for the boxers. And checking out is Masaya Pina for the boxes. They switch up the defensive package. Same formation. They're not changing anything on the Red Hawks. And we got a man in motion. Wow. That was number 67. Really, first big mistake. That's Harry Ellis. The right, the right tackle. tackle. Yeah. They'll mock the ball all the way back to the Brockton 13. This time they're going to have three receivers to the left of Kendall. Looks like the, uh, Silva will stay to his right out of, the sh out of the shotgun. Looking left, firing in the middle. That's low. Nice catch. They call that a, yeah, they're going to call that a catch by France. Yep, put his hands and arm right under the football. This should be um, third down, yep. Now they go spread again. Two slots, two receivers. They put a man in motion. That's Francis. He's going to roll left. Looking. Oh, they missed him. And he's going to go in for the, another score. Oh, they had him in the backfield. They had him. Two guys right there. Let him get away. Touchdown, Bonstable. A play that started at their own 35-yard line. You know, Bonstable has been, got an A-plus as far as when the ball's in the red zone for Bonstable. They've scored every time. And it's Diaz to kick the point after. I mean, they got the full package going on right this year so far in 2023. Yeah, Bonsville's looking pretty good. A lot of seniors on their team. And look at the foot on that kid. We march up field 35-7. Halfway through this third quarter. And Bons Bonsville has come in here and just silenced this crowd from the outset in that first quarter. You know what I just saw? I just saw the late replay. So it looked like Mabin, Urel Mabin, and Ruben Bernard ran into each other when they were trying to cut him down. And one stopped and one stopped to avoid the other one. So that's what Ed and he's so Kendall quick. just kept on going. Kendall is so quick. Yep. All it takes is a split second missed you and he's gone. So the, uh, we want to thank Brian Lynch, the coach stats over for Brockton High. The official stats for the first quarter was 185 yards for Barnstable, 69 for Brockton. Well, that tells the story right there. It really does. 
and then attack on what they just did from their own 35 to start this first, their first possession here in the second half. He goes a squib kick, taken at their own 25. The big man, Moen, Ahmad Wiggins. Couple choice words being played. So, so Miles, here's our first offensive look for Brockton here in the second half. And it's seven minutes to go in this second in this uh, third quarter. So uh, Barnstable used used a lot of time. And again, Brockton just needs to move the football down the field. Keep their defense off for a little bit. They're going to have Walter Rodriguez to the right of Campbell. And he has two slots and two receivers to his left and right. Straight drop back. Looking, looking, firing downfield. Intercepted. Intercepted by France. He's going to go the distance. Touchdown, Barnstable. Well, Francis read that, read the quarterback's eyes. That was definitely a freshman mistake there. Just ran, um, the defender just ran right in front of the receiver and took it. The ball was not thrown well. It was kind of wobbly. Gave the defender time to get there. If it was zipped in there, there's a possibility he could have got it to the um, the boxer. But unfortunately for the boxers, a big turnover there. Six points just like that on the board. Hats off to Coach um, Jermaine Wiggins. He's talking to his uh, his starting quarterback, making sure his mind's right. That's a class act. And give Bostable's head coaching head coach and his staff for preparing Bostable well to come in here on Brockton's home turf and just handle handle their business. Now waiting for the point after try here. <laughs> Diaz for the point after try. And that kid just, Francis, just basically jumped the route. Yeah. Jumped right in front of the receiver. And took it to the house. Ball kick, ball down, and it is good. Good. We march up field 42 7. 653 left in this third quarter. And that's kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, the score and it is still six minutes, almost seven minutes left in this ball game. I mean, in this third quarter alone. Still a lot of football left. Yes, it is, sir. Looks like uh, Casey Rhodes, number 34, and Jared Might, Mighty, excuse me, right around their own nine-yard line. You know, the coach can't play for you. You gotta put some type of effort into it. You know, that's how coaching works. And Diaz to kick off again. And there's a high booming end over kick taken at their own 31. And going down hard before a host of special team defenders from Barnstable takes down the ball carrier. And that was number 32, Nolan Marshall.
All right, so here we go. Brockton's second offensive possession. This time he'll go on to center. Look, no, he's gonna go to the gun. Rodriguez to his right, two slots to each side, two receivers to each side. Puts a man in motion. They give to Montero. Trying to look for a seam, he cuts over. First time they've actually thought about using Montero, you know, as a weapon. He did make a great catch that resulted in that first down and that touchdown back in the second quarter. Yeah, somehow Coach Wiggins needs to get Montero involved a little bit more on the offense because he's a breakaway threat when he gets the ball in his hands. We saw that last year as a junior. All right, this time he goes under center. Lone setback, that's out of the back behind him. That's Rodriguez. They give the Rodriguez, spinning, turning, trying to make something out of nothing. There's nothing there. He might have made it back. He lost a yard. I thought he made it to the original back line of scrimmage. He lost a yard. That'll bring up second and six. Bosterville still went in the trench war, and you saw two or three Red Raiders, Red Hawks. Red Hawks. Red Hawks. Get in there and um, before the running back could even reach the line of scrimmage. And I apologize if I said Red Raiders earlier. All right, out now back on the center. Same formation. No, this time they're going to go three receivers up top. I mean, two receivers, one slot, one receiver down low. And the lone setback is Rodriguez. Campbell, straight drop back, looking, looking. He might try to use his God-given legs, trying to take off. But he's tackled by a, a host of Red Hawk defenders. Bring up third, uh, fourth down. And on comes the punting unit. There's a lot to build off, the, off losses, believe it or not. Campbell back to punt. I think it's uh, Montero. I mean, I'm sorry, Montero back to punt, I'm sorry. Uh, to Jod Francis, looks like he's back to receive at his own 33, 34. Nice end over kick. Takes a Brockton bounce, they're gonna let it roll. And they'll finally stop it right around their own 36. Well, so far, Bonsville's offense has had their way when they get the football in their hands. By the, you can tell by the score, 42 points. Yep. Uh, it, minus one, which was a defensive touchdown. But um, they really had their way here at uh, Marciano Stadium this evening against this young boxer team. All right, so here we go, Miles. Our second look at this possible team, this time from their own 33 here in the second half. Third quarter, 4.16 left, as you can see. Like to welcome everyone watching on the Brockton YouTube channel, everyone back home watching on 1070, the Comcast channel 1071. They go double wing formation, that's tight. Little end around, back to Silva, off tackle. And he takes off for about eight yards. Francis on that carry for B, uh, BHS, Bonsable High School. Well, I tell you, Silva, when he gets the ball and he gets in stride, he's pretty fast. You know, I thought the coaches were kidding when they said, you know, this guy could be your running back, that guy could be your running back, this guy could be your slot, this guy could be your receiver. A lot of weapons on that on that offensive side of the ball for the for the Red Hawks. They go tight double wing again. They give it to Francis again, same play. He was the wing on the far side, and he takes off for a about seven, and that's good enough for a Bonstable first down in the Brockton, 49, and the clock is rolling. Yeah, he's a workhorse for uh, Bonstable. Mm -hmm. 
Big Game Miles Jackson, myself, and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew. We'll be back Thursday night as the Franklin Panthers come in out of the Hockamock Division. That should be another big contest here at Marciano Stadium. On the center again, they go double wing. Let's see if they run the same play. Now this time they give it to dive, the dive back. And that was De Silva. He was the fullback out of that double wing formation. Yeah, when the Hawks, excuse me, yeah, when the Red Hawks start playing that tight, tight formation, it, it, can, it can get confusing on who has the ball. Yep. But you hit the nail on the head. Brockton in this game, in you know, almost down the third quarter, have not, are not winning the trench battle at all. At all. Precision blocking and timely blocking by the Red Ra by the Red Hawks. Francis again, the wing from the far side of the double wing. He takes off all the way down to the Brockton. My goodness, 17 yard line. Wow. Bonsable was getting big chunks of yardage just running the football. Coach for Bonsable knows that by running the football, you this clock keeps ticking. Yep, you're going to get yourself in a situation where you, that clock is automatically asked to run. That's right. I believe once it gets to a certain score, yep, the referee will let the scorekeeper to uh, the timer to uh, keep it running. Keep it running. And I believe we're in that situation right now. Oh boy. Opening game of the season for the boxes. We haven't, I don't remember too many like this. Not in the five years we've been working together. And I've been doing this over 25 years, 30 <laughs> years. I, I just don't remember them starting like this at home. First game of the season. But then again, this is one of the younger teams I've ever seen be put on the field by the boxers. The graduating class of uh, 2023 um, really shows out here right now. Double wing again. They do the same play again. Francis off the opposite right tackle. He started as a left, a left wing. He came out. He went to the right side and takes off for about nine. Well, oh, yard short of a first down. Bonsville, great running attack, great passing attack. They just have it going on this, this evening. All right, so here we go. They're gonna stay double wing. They went to the spread, now they go to double wing. They do it again. Condell, Condell on the center. This he gives it to him again. He's gonna try to drive in and he is down at the one. No, they're gonna say he broke the plane. I'm gonna say he broke the plane and scored. See, are they gonna go for two or are they gonna go for one? Diaz to attempt the point after.
And that'll do it. That'll end the fourth quarter. With your score, the Red Hawks of Barnstable 48. Point after try pending in the Brockton Boxers 7. Oh, baby. Well, Coach Wiggins has been initiated into high school football. Yep. And it hasn't been a good one. Nope. Sure hasn't. I guess they're going to let them kick the uh, extra point right down here while they're still down here. Yep. Point up the try is good. We match up field. Oh boy, 49 to 7. And we still got a whole quarter to play, Dom. Yep. Yeah, you're not seeing things, folks. That's the score on your screen. Yep. There's Diaz's kick. They let him finish it. Yeah, this is. Brockton has uh, going to have a lot of interesting film work. One of the biggest things I saw on defense, besides the secondaries getting beat, was the linebacker play. Linebacker play has to get better. It's got to get better. They let that that offensive line, and you know, my opinion, the offensive line of Bonstable was able to get to the secondary blocks and give. Uh, Kendall and, and Francis and Silva, those holes they needed to take off. That has definitely has to be looked at. All right, so back to receive uh, Jared Mighty and I believe that's Casey Rhodes back there now. There's a kick, high booming end over kick. Take it at their own 10. Looking for a seam, take it off. He has the edge, trying to take the corner and he's finally tackled. Brockton shows some life on special teams. Gives the re uh, fans a reason to cheer. Nice run back. So here's our uh, third offensive, offensive look at Brockton in the second half. Or as we just get underway here in the fourth quarter, clock's going to be running. We are now under National High School Federation rules. The clock will run. Well, we already already been under National High. <laughs> you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. All right, they're going to go I formation. They get a fullback and a halfback. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they only had 10 guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that was Deshaun Hodge who didn't realize he was supposed to be in there. Number right. 87. All right, so here we go. They go I formation this time. Campbell under center again. He gives the the tailback. I think that's Rodriguez. Rodriguez takes off for about seven. Rodriguez has uh, shown us he's he's a fighter. When he gets his um, hands on the football, they're gonna give him six. Excuse me. Second and four from the Bonstable forty-nine.
They go I again. Cameron Montero is a lone receiver. Got one up top. I believe that's Ribeiro. It is to the right. They give to the big running back again. He stops. He pivots. He drives forward. He has enough for a Brockton first down. Nice job picking the holes there by the running back. Picking the spots where to cut in and out. It's the first down, as you said. And like you said earlier, welcome to Bro welcome to high school football, Coach Wiggins. Yeah, tough way to, to be initiated, but yeah, that's what it is in Division One. There's no mercy. Don't. He's seen that at Georgia. He's seen yeah. that. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. he, he's he, you know an ex player trying to take off and diving forward for possibly. Let's see if they give him four. They will. Bring up second and six. Are we still going to go down and get an interview after the game? All right, I formation again. Just talking to the producer for a minute. See if he wants to go with that interview. Back to Rodriguez. He cuts, was thinking center, drove up, and he has enough for another Brockman first down. Wow, nice run there. Good blocking by the offensive line. He finally woken up. The mark the ball right at the Barnstable 34 yard line. They go high, if high formation again. This time, Ribeiro and Montero switch as far as wideouts. Trying to punch the ball, trying to get the outside, but not before a host of Barnstable defenders take him down. Let her bring up second and nine. You got a yard out of that. That was earned. It sure was. No, I'm sorry. He didn't get a yard. They marked him right at the 39, uh, 34. Sorry. See, Rodriguez gets a well-deserved rest. Yep. They go I formation again. This time they switch the backs. This time they're going to go with Santos as the main back. Straight drop back. Passing. Looking. Rolling. Is just going to step out of bounds smartly. That'll bring up third down. All right, with a running clock, he basically made it back to the original line of scrimmage. Which is their own 30, which is the Barnstable 34. Second and 10. Let's see what we got. Offside. We have a offsides defense. Yep. They, so they lined up offsides. So that helps out the boxers a little bit. Bring up second and five instead of second and ten. Boxers need to keep this offensive drive going. They can ill, Ill afford to let Bonstable's offense back on the field. You just don't know what they're going to do. And basically what they've been doing all game is scoring touchdowns. 49 points worth of them. High formation again. Scoring a long count. Gives it to the big man. Driving forward for a Brockton first down. Wow, nice way. The offensive line just pushed, pushed the defensive line backwards. 
Looked and like the old school wedge blocking on that one. Sure it did. They will mark that ball at the 24 of Bonstable. All right, they break the huddle. High formation again. Straight drop back, looking, firing, and incomplete. Might get, maybe getting a hand on that was Kyle Coffin. Exactly, if he got a hand on it. If he didn't, that ball should have been caught. But he possibly will give the receiver benefit of doubt. Number 18 got his hand in there and knocked it out of his hands. Tough break for the boxers right there. It was a good pass. It was. Second and 10. High formation again. Give to the big man, I believe that's Rodriguez, it yeah, is. Yeah. He'll drive forward for about maybe seven, maybe six. Oh, we got someone down. We have a boxer slow to get up. And he got a probably got his got his wind knocked out. That's a big guy. That's number seventy one, Giovanni Del Rosa. Del Rosa. Del Rosa. Yes. Yep. Yeah, he might have got the uh, wind knocked out of him. Yep. There you go. I formation again. Straight drop back, looking. Oh, he's smartly gonna take off, use his speed, he beats by one defender, but not before he gets a Brockton first down. Now that's some guts from a freshman. Yeah, good scramble. Oh, is Somebody's he down though. Oh, I think that's, I. unfortunately, I think that might be Campbell. Oh, he's gonna try to get up. Oh, he's hobbling. Yeah, he's going to have to come out. That is a not a good look for Brockton. Bonstable come here, comes in here, puts up 49. Now you lose your starting quarterback. So they got number 14 coming in. Who is he? That is Marcio Samito. Samito, yes. So Samito will play quarterback. The fullback, and I forgot, is Robert Ho um, Moyes, the second. Spinning, driving, and moving forward. Close, but not enough. They'll stop him at the three. Nice run by Rodriguez again. All right, so here we go. They're gonna stay I formation. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. They give to the big man driving forward and he's 
in for a touchdown. That was a nice drive out of boxes, mostly on the ground, but great, great drive for the boxes late in this ball game. Absolutely. I mean, you know, they could have folded, the, threw in the towel, but they didn't. No, they kept on pushing that whole drive. They stayed high formation. They drove the ball downfield. Yeah. And here we go for the point after try. Ball down, kick is up, and it is good. Have you ever seen anybody kick the ball through the goal post faster than that? Nope. I mean, he, he bullets it through. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Well, with the running time, Dom, we got 45 seconds left for this football game. 45 seconds and a lot of gear to put away. <laughs> Well, they put the, put the um, score into double digits, if that's any consolation. Again, Miles and I and everybody at Brockton, come ready to access the clock, we're around, that'll do it. Your final score, the Red Hawks, uh, Barstable, 49, the Brockton Boxers, 14. I don't think we're going to get a chance to get down and talk to the coach. So we'll just wrap it up here. Your thoughts, Miles? Well, Brockton didn't have a chance in the trenches. Bonsable controlled the trenches on defense as well as offense. Um, Bonsable's got a great quarterback, great running back, some good receivers. I think what Brockton, as far as the offense, is, offense goes for Brockton, they need to get the ball in Montero's hands however they can do it because he's one of them type of players. He can make things happen. Um, the freshman quarterback, he did as best as he could. The line, the offensive line needs to, needs to improve as well as the defensive backfield. They need to improve along with the linebackers. Yeah, absolutely. Linebacker, linebacker pursuit, it definitely has to be better. We talked about the secondary. The good thing is it's all fixable. Yeah. It's all fixable. Uh, the young kids got christened early. The young Brockton team got christened by a very talented uh, Bonstable team. They yeah. can't, all you can do is go up with this. I mean, I'm really not trying to sugarcoat it. That is a very talented Bonstable team. It and is. And if you're playing in the, the Cape Cod and Island League, I mean, watch out because the Red Hawks are real. I mean, the, excuse me, yeah, the Red Hawks are real. Well, I, the reason they're real is because they got a lot of seniors on that team. Yep, they're um, loaded. They're loaded with seniors. They got some juniors, but they had a tough year last year, but they've moved up in age and, and grade, and, and it shows out here today where Brockton is starting from scratch. A lot of young players on this team. They yep. lost a lot of their blue chippers from last year, and, and you go through those cycles in high school football, and it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is with high school football. It is. Big game, Miles Jackson. I'm Dominic Damian and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV crew. Your score one more time. Red Hawks 49, Boxers 14. Miles and I and the crew will be back Thursday as a visiting Panthers of Franklin High School out of the Hockamock. They'll come down and take on our boxers that Thursday night. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.